Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lima's Shenanigans of 1977. It's Martindale Monday, and you know what that means. Our host is playing everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And here is the man, the ultimate dragon slayer himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima's Shenanigans. I'm 1977. Hello there. This is the 77th edition of Martindale Monday, episode 1234. 1234. That's right. And uh, I'll tell you what. I meant to, um, yeah, I did address it, but I went off on a tangent and talking about the, the, about the state of the shopping mall um, on the last episode. Um, my One of my pressure luck videos reached over 1,000, 1.2, 1,200 over 1,200 views since I opened up this um, this channel two years ago. That's amazing in itself. In fact, uh, about two years. In fact, this coming September will make it two years since I did this show. So I want to thank everybody for their support, and I do appreciate it. And I will keep keep on going, ladies and gentlemen. Keep on, keep on moving. Right, Brady Bunch. Hello. <laughs> I am dating myself here. Mm. However, everyone who plays Martindale Monday, you know how this works. Y'all know the drill. Hey, got my tally boy ready to go. I did pretty good last time. So, let's, and this is the final Martindale Monday of February 2024 as we head into March. And Wild Wednesday happens to be the first Wild Wednesday that I am going to do in March is my birthday. So that's going to be fun. All right, here we go. We're going to shuffle everything up. All right, we're about to begin. Let's go number four. Tick. Let's try number six. $100. Let's try number one. $300. Let's try number seven. Is it the $250? No. Tax going to be number five. Yes. First way. First time. Yes, sir. Whoopsie-daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Yes, sir. It is one to nothing. Good way to start it off. Very good. Oh, what's well, one to nothing? One nothing, by the way. Okay, now where is that stupid looking dragon? Well, maybe we'll find out what we'll find out what that dragon is by keeping stop hitting them. And it'll be number eight. That held to me monster mild tackles behind number two. Let's shuffle it up for round two. Let's keep going. Let's try round two. Oh! That is not cool, dude. Not cool at all. So the second round has ended abruptly, and it's a Super Mario game. One up. Let's find out. Now we all know what the others were. All right, uh, all the other numbers were good. Tick behind three. Tack behind number eight this time. All right, let's go to round three. Round three. Let's try three. Two fifty. Let's try number nine. Five hundred. Let's try number six. Tack. Let's try number four. 150. Let's try number five. In the middle. Yes, indeed. We're rolling here. We're rolling. We're rolling. Excuse me. We're rolling. All right. It is two to one. Very good. After three rounds. All right. Very pleased to punch about that. Let's see. One, two, seven, eight. Who do we not appreciate? Number unlucky number seven held the mean monster while tickles behind number one. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a celebratory burp. All right. Round number four. We'll see what four has for us. 250. Let's try number six. 150. Let's try number nine. 100. All right. Let's try number seven. 300. Let's try number eight. Oh, number eight. Well, I had $800. I need 200 to win. So, so all the other numbers would have helped me get, be, um, be victorious. Three, oh, wait. Three, two... Um, you know what? Yeah, two to two. It's a Chuck Woolery game. I'm sorry. I have... <laughs> it's two and two. Chuck Woolery game. Man, I'm messed up today. One, two, three, and five. Which numbers were not jive? Tack and tick. One and three. See, the other numbers would have helped me. My bad. Oh, boy. I feel like our troops sometimes when he got lost in Austria. I wonder, I wonder if that would tick off Gunter a little bit. I don't know. Excuse me for a minute. Maybe my nose is kind of kind of uh, annoying me. Let's, uh, 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 praise the Lord. Here we go. Uh. 
<laughs> ah. There. Every time I hit the dragon, I'll blow my nose just for the heck of it. Ah. Man, this weather. This New England weather is driving me crazy, that's for sure. Round five, here we go. <laughs> Round five, let's try number five. Ah. That sucked. Right out of the gate, number five. The dragon is up three to two now. Now it's three to two. All right. All right. We all know it's one, two, four, six through nine, two and seven, tack and tick, respectively. Let's shuffle. Round six. All right. Sixth round. Here we go. Here we don't go. What in the world's going on here? What in the world is going on here? All right. It is four to two. Four to two. Four to two. Four to two. Okay. Dragon is up by two. All right. Let's, we're, we all know. Tack and tick two and seven again. All right. Here we go. It's round seven. It's seven a lucky number. Tick. Let's try number nine. 250. Let's try number four. Tack. Up. Oh. Tree, tree fitty. Now, you know what this means. Every time I hit tree fitty in any of my bonus rounds, Basically, Joker's Wild and Tic Tac Dome only because it's hard to do. You can't do that on Bullseye. And I got to keep going with it on Pressure Luck as far as got to keep going with the game. And, um, and yeah, and, and Card Sharks. Well, Card Sharks, I can do with Card Sharks. Anyways, I get, pull a plug for one of my friend, uh, for one of my good friends, Brandon Scruggs. Um, the man hosts a lot of game shows along with his good friends as well. Also my good friends, Kevin Henry, Justin Rea, Jason Myers, Richard Montgomery, Cedric Willispoon, um, you know, it's Cedric Willispoon, all the, uh, all the other, uh, folks that host it, um, host game shows on NVG Productions. If you like game show content, go to NVG Productions, hosted by Brandon Scruggs. You'll see all the games there. That him and his friend, my friends, hosted. I know I have not been on the Discord app for quite a while because life has been crazy. But I want to plug their show as always. So, thank you very much. Go watch Brandon Scruggs and tell him that Eric Lima sent you. All right, speaking of sent you, let's try number six. $400. Let's try number five. 300 That's a win. Back on track. Back on track. Back on track. Uh, seven, uh, four to three after seven rounds. Okay, then. I stay away from the Sean Waltman row in number eight. Ooh, number eight held tack. I should have picked number eight. Number three held the mean monster. All right, let's shuffle everything. Number eight. Let's try eighth round. Number eight, $400. Number seven, 100, 500. Let's try number nine. Is that 500? No, 150. Where's 500? Number four, tack. Let's try number six. Yes! Tied it up, boy. Tied it. After eight rounds, I tied it up at four round, four wins apiece. I'm going to make sure I put the four right for the dragon here. Because it is four. So that's four to four. So everybody can see. All righty then. Making that comeback trail. One, two, three, and five was number full of jive. It would be number one, number uno. 500 was behind number two. I want to pick those... All right, let's go shuffle it up for round number nine. Round, round number nine. Going down the Chicago line. If the train goes off the track, do you want your money back? Number four. Okay, let's try five. Tick. Let's try number seven. 100. Let's try number four. 250. Let's try number eight. 156. Jack it. Yeah. There you go. After nine rounds, I'm up five to four. So I stayed away from the Sean Waltman row. One, two, three, kid. That means one of them had as a dragon. Let's see. Where was the dragon? Number two held the me monster. 300 behind three. 500 behind one. All righty then. Let's get going. We're round number 10. We'll be half to halfway there. Let's add some numbers. Seven plus three is 10. Seven. 100 plus three is 10. 150. Okay. Let's play six plus four. Six. Plus four is... Okay. Nine plus one, maybe? Plus one. Oh, and the dragon was behind number one. So, it is a tied up. It's a Super Mario 3 
Super Mario Brothers 3, three-star card game, five up. All right, after ten rounds, we'll be halfway there. All right, two, five, and eight. Which number, who do we appreciate? Number eight. Eight and two, I should have picked instead of nine and one. Eight and two, I should have picked, and that would have been good. All right, round 11, here we go. Round 11, let's try five and six. Five plus six is 11. All right, let's go seven plus four. Four plus seven. All right, um, nine plus two, nine. Oh, no, don't need it. Very good. Don't need the two. I was going to add two to that, but back up in the lead, six to five. What well, was behind number two had I had I decided to go with it? Oh, I would have won. So the numbers I would have stayed away, the number I would have stayed away was from number three, the big green monster, and I don't mean Fenway Park, is behind, that's where the dragon is. No, not Fenway Park, he was behind number three. Get it? Okay. All right, let's go. Round 12. Round 12. Nine plus three. Nine. Plus three is twelve. Okay, very good. Let's go four plus eight. Four plus eight. Oh, okay. Five plus seven. Five. I don't need it. It is seven to five. Seven to five. Okay, seven to five after twelve rounds. One, two, six, and seven. Now, had I had seven, ooh, I would have won either way. Again, the number I would have avoided was number two. I, and I did avoid number two because that's where the dragon is. All right, so five and seven would have helped me. All right, round 13, here we go. Let's go. Six plus seven is 13. Six plus seven is 13. Nine plus four. Nine plus four is 13. Eight plus five. Eight. Okay. That's another one. It's eight to five. After 13 rounds, it's eight to five. So that means if I had picked number five first, what would have been? I would have won again. So I avoided the Sean Waltman row. In this case, number one held the dragon. So, and there's my MVG production shout out amount right there. Two and uh, two and three, two and three. Round fourteen. All right. There's a couple of numbers up. There's five, four numbers up there. Can add up to fourteen. But let's try eight plus six. Plus eight plus six is fourteen. Five hundred. Nine plus five. And oh! Oh! Number five was a number I should have stayed away from. It's eight to six, even though I'm going to lead by two. One through four and seven, which numbers would have taken me to heaven, so to speak. One and seven held tick and tack, respectively. All the other numbers were good, except for number five. That held the mean monster. All right, then. Let's go. Fifth, round 15, there's two. Like I said, nine plus six is 59. Plus six and fifteen. Okay, let's go. Um, eight plus seven, eight. Oh, eight. No. Eight and seven now. Eight and seven. The dragon and I are in a seesaw battle, folks. This is a good. Thing. All right, one through five and seven. How did I pick number seven first? Uh, number five. The Dolly Parton connection had tick and tack and tick respectively. Tick behind nine. Tack behind number five. Uh, okay. Round 16. There's only two numbers that add up to 16, so I'm going to take them right now. 9 plus 7. 400. Let's try 4. Nope. Oh, again. Again. 8 all. Okay. 1 through 3, 5, 6, and 8. Who do we not? Who do we appreciate? Tat one and eight, tick and tack. Mm -hmm. All right, round seventeen. Now we're getting down to the criticism. Can't play around no more. Nine plus eight, nine. Let's say it is seventeen. Um, let's go for five. Let's go. Tack. Let's try number seven. Two fifty. Let's try number six. Three hundred. That's a win. Nine to eight. Nine to eight, folks. This is getting. All right, so the first four numbers. Where was the dragon? Number two. Take behind number one. All right. Round 18. Let's go five. 500. Let's go seven. 300. Uh, let's go eight. Attack. Let's throw four. Four. Yes. Another win. Another win. 
going to win at 10 to 8. 10 to 8, folks. I am doing very, very well. All right, one through three, six and nine. Which number was one? Not so fine. It was numeral uno. Number one. All right, round number 19. Round number 19. Let's try number nine. Mm. Walking on dangerous territory there, my friends. Oh, I'm walking on dangerous territory. I got not, uh, 10, to, 10 to 9. That means I got one more win. One more game. One more round. All right. All the other numbers are good. Tick and tack. Three and five, respectively. Let's see if I can end this on a high note. Let's try number four. 500. Let's try number seven. 250. Let's try number five in the middle. Well, I'm afraid we'll have to go to a tiebreaker on this one. It is... 10 up. 10 up. All right, then. I'm going to go for a tiebreaker. Where was everything else? The number would give me the victory would be number four. or No, number two or number six. Tick and tack behind three and eight. All right. One more. Let's go. Let's try number seven. 305 again. 250. Let's try number eight. 500. That's a win. And I made a comeback. I win again. I win again. I broke the tie. So the final score for the tiebreaker will be 11 to 10. So I'm victorious over the dragon again today. Yay me. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And I'll end it. But before we do that, where was the dragon? Number nine. Number nine. He was there. One and four. Tack and tick respectively. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the final Martindale Monday of February of 2020. Four. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I will see you guys on the very next episode. Um, we'll talk about Monday Night Raw, the fallout from the Elimination Chamber. Now we know all our title matches of the women and the men's are set up. We have, for WrestleMania 40, we have Drew McIntyre, who won the Elimination Chamber, will be challenging Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. Meanwhile, Cody Rose, who won the Royal Rumble, chose Roman Reigns to go after the Undisputed Universal title, but there's a big obstacle in the form of The Rock. And then, on the women's side, Bailey chose EO Sky after EO Sky's treachery against the former leader of Damage Control. And now, Becky Lynch, by virtual of winning the um, Elimination Chamber, will face Rhea Ripley. So, we'll see what happens in that matchup for the Women's Championship. So, thank you for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate you all. So I will see you on the next episode of Eric Lee Machine Annigans 1977. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lee Machine of 1977. A big beefy E, Dorf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.